Internet trolls of Reddit, what's the biggest controversy you've ever caused? When I was in middle school, I made a fake Facebook account of a pregnant teenager. I added a ton of people who went to this one random ass high school in Indiana. I'm nowhere near Indiana, and ended up with maybe 400 friends from there. People kind of just assumed that I was from their area. I posted regular updates, headless belly pics I found on the internet, and would make statuses about the progress of my pregnancy. I even posted a baby picture at the end of all of it, and got so many comments congratulating me. Even the high school gym teacher commented saying she couldn't wait to meet my little one. But this is the sauciest thing that happened from all that. This one guy who had a girlfriend messaged me that he'd never been with a pregnant chick before. Wink wink. And so I forwarded that message to his other half. She broke up with him. A real life couple that was together for one year broke up because of a bored 13 year old more than 700 miles away lol. I made a reddit troll bot that did sentiment analysis on comments to find the most polar ones, very positive or very negative, then find the most polar sentence in that comment and quote it, then reply with a random negative response like, you'd think so, but no, really? That's stupid as hell. Are you fucking serious? Really? Studies prove otherwise. If someone replied back, it'd keep going and reply back. I got a couple people on the hook arguing and then saying shit like you're not even making sense. After a few replies, a few comments got lucky and were upvoted decently. It really wasn't that much of a shit chow and only really ran it for a few days, but it was really fun to find the ones where people argued with it. Mostly a proof of concept. So this was a harmless joke, but a good one. I went to Carly Simmons' song You're So Vain and commented her best song since call me maybe on a troll account. The original artist herself clarified that no, that was a different Carly. There was a huge number of comments varying between calling me an idiot, a masterful troll, and other things. Whenever I post about my experiences in medical school, particularly during my third year ob slash gin rotation, there's always some controversy over whether or not my username is appropriate. For the record, I do my best to maintain separate personal and professional lives and always treat my patients with the utmost respect. I also have a special gratitude towards my ob slash gin patients for allowing me, a male medical student, to learn from them. My peak wow years occurred during the height of the anal joke craze in tray chat and my favorite crowd pleaser was using a seasonal achievement called, for the children, to form, naturally, anal, for the children. After some weeks of spamming this during every free moment I had in game, I received a surprise 3 day ban for my efforts. Though I was spamming along with a ton of other people, I'm guessing mine caught focus ire for its vulgarity. It is the best anal joke in all of Azeroth. About 3 days later during another anal spam fest, someone else discovered the, for the children, link and started using it as well. So, I told them about my ban and jokingly mentioned that they might want to be careful with that one. Apparently, someone else who had reported me, and probably contributed to the ban, saw this in chat and recognized me, entering into a very long and public tirade about how I deserved to be permanent and imprisoned because I was a disgusting pedophile, and how I think child rape is hilarious for making such a horrific joke. Keep in mind, all I ever spammed was the word anal and an in-game achievement link after it. On and on. Telling anyone who would respond that post underscore no underscore comments is a child rapist, and how typing anal, for the children, in trade chat was basically the same as child abuse. So I did what any normal person would do, I egged him on. I asked how joking about something was the same as doing it, and I encouraged his public musings on the subject, which then came at length. I'll let him know just how funny I thought the whole thing was when he tried to explain how a 3 day ban confirmed just how right he was. After raging as fast as the spam filter would allow for an hour most of the trade channel had become involved, was unanimously on my side and started making fun of him for me. I didn't raid that day so this went on for hours. I logged off and came back an hour later and he was still going with people in trade. All it took was one sentence and off he would go for 5 or 10 minutes. It was the most bizarre thing that's ever happened to me online. I still link anal for the children to this day and I still think it's hilarious. Still haven't been banned again though. On a modded minecraft server I managed to make a trap 
basically a magical rune that once triggered, sets off a chain of events leading to the, the fiery death of a player's entire zoo. It was a modded zoo, over a hundred specimens, hundreds of hours of work as it was fully automated, in harvesting various products from the animals. The immediate suspect was the most powerful magic user on the server, who played 24 over 7, and had already demonstrated his ability to bypass the anti-grief inclusion by using the same magical mod as I did. Yeah there were a few other suspects, none were me, I was known for choosing tech over magic in every instance when in fact I had a massive magical workshop in a different dimension, but this guy was for all intents and purposes already determined to be guilty. So one of his factor is ate a nook from the ex zookeeper. Funny enough but there's more. The nook was overkill, because it torched an entire jungle biome which housed another 3 players bases. Two of these players were members of a gang on the server and they blamed another gang who had recently announced nuclear armament. So now there's a gang war going on in this shit show. Eventually an admin got word that this mostly peaceful server had fallen into anarchy. Luckily anal admin was on holiday and this was chill admin who decided to let it play out on the grounds that if anyone didn't want a part of it, they were to be left alone. Almost everyone on the server split into three factions leaving me, and a guy who had progressed through every mods tree, and been and done everything. Me and him chilled at his base on the moon, while we watched the earth be obliterated to the point where nowhere was habitable. This happened over the space of a few days and once done nobody had any resources or anything. A few people quit and the remaining ones were put to work on our moon prison camp in exchange for ores that they would have been unable to get without our approval. This all happened, because the zookeeper killed my pet cat. Modded Minecraft is fucking cool, the most fun I've ever had in a game. So there's this guy on YouTube who does gun guides for cod by the name of Sparks Ahoy, now just Ahoy. He did a video on the MP5 across all video games, and in the thumbnail, included the colors of the German flag as it's a German made weapon. I commented back quote I like how he puts the colors of the flag in the thumbnail, spelt with a back quote you because I'm British. Someone corrected me with the American spelling, and that caused a whole shit show over how to spell back quote color mayo. I'm late so this will probably get buried, but whatever. I had a friend in high school I knew through marching band, let's call him James. James was a senior, and for the character day of our homecoming spirit week, James decided to dress up as a giant trojan condom wrapper. The fake giant condom wrapper hung on his chest, and he had a flowing red cape as well. So we now call him Trojan Man. In his first period class, Trojan Man was told to remove his costume because it was vulgar and distracting and go to the front office to be disciplined by administration. Trojan Man complies. Upon leaving the front office, stripped of his costume, Trojan Man sends a text to his mother. He says send the press release. Yes, the night before Trojan Man had stayed up with his mother not only assembling the costume, but also crafting a press release, knowing that his costume would get him discipline at school. Before the end of classes that day, the story of Trojan Man's First Amendment rights being violated would reach all of the local news sites, Daily Mail, and the MTV website. That night, in fact, Trojan Man was pulled out of banned practice to be interviewed by, not one, but two local news stations, to be aired on TV. The school administration was so afraid of the bad publicity they decided to not touch him, though he had several long meetings with the principal the rest of the year. In the interviews, he claims he is simply promoting safe sex among his peers, trying to educate his friends who he knows are having sex. But Trojan Man does not use condoms, so I'll let you decide his intentions for yourself. I made a website called Twatowers Protest, org which protested the movie The Two Towers saying that it was disrespectful to the victims of the Twin Towers collapse that generated 1 million views and thousands of angry emails as well as interview requests from many reputable news outlets. It's amazing how gullible people on the internet are. I used to be an active participant on a political forum, except I was vocally opposed to most of the philosophy espoused there. I was sort of the voice of reason guy, when everyone else was rapidly exploring their newfound philosophy. It really was unhealthy, many people were brainwashed into what was essentially a cult. The owner of the forum didn't participate there much. When he was in the process of breaking up with his girlfriend, I'med her and told, asked, her to make me a mod. She did, and the place completely freaked the fuck out. 
I used to change people's avatars to cocks when they pissed me off, or would select a short block of text and use a word filter to change a specific sentence to something like blast me up my gaping shitter, you sexy beast, and blow your load all over me. That way, there was no edit timestamp. Man, they got fucking insanely mad. I would banish people to the basement by selecting what boards they could access, leaving them only one board, the basement, to shout themselves raw. Occasionally I'll talk about alcohol in church. It's surprisingly controversial given that we worship a guy who turned water into wine. I didn't do this but somewhat relevant. My wife found an event on Facebook for a live Paw Patrol stage show thing for kids at a local shopping center. She took our 3 year old son who loves everything Paw Patrol. When she got there she found a swarm of angry mums and pissed off kids. There was no Paw Patrol show. Someone just made a fake event on Facebook and clearly tricked a shit ton of people. I'm still kinda not sure if it's hilarious or a huge dick move. This will definitely be buried, but I haven't told this story in so long, and it's a great memory. Back in college an app called Yakayak was very popular. It was essentially a location based message board, where you could post things that would be geotagged and visible only within a certain radius of the original posting, while also benefiting from an up slash down vote system. Basically perfect for shit posting, jokes, and gossip on a college campus. My friend and I were total trolls, and started a lot of trends one example was posting non-stop Spongebob quotes for 15 minutes, strangers jumping on, and the app being nothing but Spongebob for days. Lame, but we were bored. So one time some guys in a dorm posted something like dorm name, floor 3a is the best. Naturally we responded with dorm name, 3a is a bunch of punk bitches minus tour. This led to some back and forth commenting. That really escalated into some nasty stuff and us encouraging them to come downstairs and say it to our face. The conversation ended there. Keep in mind we do not live in this dorm, but in a house nearby. So a few days later we are at lunch with our big group of friends, and one of them is in rab. Specifically, he is in rab on dorm name 2A. At the time we had no idea, but as it turns out the 3A gang did come downstairs and did start a fight with 4 of the guys on the floor below all of whom had no clue why the guys from 3A were so pissed. My friend had to come in and break up an actual fist fight between 8 college freshmen over our fake threats on Yikayak. We felt terrible, but it was absolutely hilarious. I'm active in the fandom side of the internet, and one time I jokingly said character A and character B should get together in a spin-off series the author was planning. The entire fandom descended into chaos. People who didn't even follow me were tweeting about how much they hated the idea. No one said anything directly to me, but everyone was ranting. This was about 2 years ago, and I still laugh about it sometimes.